welcome back. I've got another cramps request. I get a lot of these. And this one's for Monty. He's a patron. And he's requested Georgia Lee Brown by the cramps. And it's originally by... This is originally by Jackie Lee Cochran. So check that version out as well. It's slightly different. Uh, this one, we're just going to look at the cramps. Going to crack on with it. We're going to start with the G chord. And we're going to play it like a bar chord, we're going to play the bar chord version of it. Same chord, different way to play it, this is how Poison Ivy plays it. So that's where we're going to end up, starting on the third fret there. Three, five, five, four, three, three. Bar chords are kind of difficult when you're first starting out, but they're so useful, so it's a good thing to practice. The cool thing about those is you can move them all around, which is what we're going to do with this lesson, with this tune. Now for the intro, we are going for the G chord. However, we're going to slide up to it. So instead of going from the third fret, we start on the second and then slide up one fret so you're going to need a bit of strength for that if you're not that used to the bar chords so that's something you can work on a little bit like jailhouse rock elvis of course so that's your first part There's ways you can simplify that if you're finding it tricky, if you want to play the top part of the bar chord. That's a little cheap way to do it. So you just use the, uh, well, we'll start on the G, so five with your third finger, four with your second finger on the G, and then bar those last two strings there, so you've got that. get a similar effect, you miss the bass, but that's fine. You could also play the power chord. That's three, five, five. Another little cheat way if you wanna, if you're not quite there with the bar chords. But keep trying at that, because they are useful. Okay. And then in the intro, you can add a little tune this is off the album a date with Elvis okay so go to check that out so then when the verse is coming in we're sticking with the intro we're gonna play that three times and then we go up we're gonna move this entire shape to the eighth fret so we've got then we go up to the eighth back to the third fret of the G so that was a C and we got this kind of strumming rhythm going on okay the next part we're going to go up to the C again. There's a couple of different ways we can do it. I've got a feeling it's this way up here. Could also be up here. Either way, I'll tab this out at the, on the Patreon site. And this is all around the pentatonic scale. There we go. That'll be tapped out for you. Then it goes back to another verse and we do the same. So we do that verse part again. And then after that, we're going to go up to the C. 
Back to the G. Back to the C. C, G, C, G, up and down, and then we're going up to the D there. So listen along to the tune, play along to the tune. So there's like three stops there on the D, and that is just that same it's raining. So that is just the same bar chord, but we're playing that on the 10th fret. And then we've got a little run up here. So that's on the 12th frets there, on the G and B strings. 10th fret on the E, and then 12th and back to the 10th. That's it, we go back to another verse. Another verse. Okay, I think we get two verses there, or a longer verse, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to go up to another chorus, if you want to call it that. But this time there's some extra lead parts in there, so when we go up to the D, there's this little run here. So when the chords are going back down to the G, she's playing this little uh, blues lick in G. Then back to the C. There's another one there when she's going down to the G. Then it repeats the first one. Then we go up to the D. Same again. There you go, we got another verse at the end, I think. And then some more of this. That's pretty much the tune. Georgia Lee Brown, The Cramps, our ones from Monty on the Patreon and you can get the tabs over there as well. I got some merch if you want to support me, you can buy me a brew. I'm out of here. Cheers.